Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here. Welcome. We're here back on the second channel. Back on the second channel, guys. Hey, glad to, glad to still be posting, guys. But today we're going to react to how Lil Uzi's vert producer literally, literally sold his career. So let's check it out. This was by 11.11. This is the story of a young producer who had the dream opportunity of a lifetime, who had then quite literally sold it away, demonstrating the number one thing you should never do in thought this was about Uzi, guys. It said a producer. The music industry. The selfish decision that Philadelphia producer Forza made back in 2019. Dang, man. So much, why are laptops always silver, guys? He's got the backlight as well, man. Just like my computer, bro. 19 could have very easily ended his music career. In fact, it kind of did. After getting... Laptops are for the win. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a huge fan of laptops and we just recently got, got one. Publicly exposed by his high school friend Lil Uzi Vert on Twitter, Forza's career was never the same. Yeah, that bro. That was a wow. Forza beat, if it is, um, no. He was kicked. He's dying Aiden Ross's hair. Out of the hottest producer group in the game working on dying, and as of today, none of his songs- Guys, I don't know who Forza is, but I know who Summers is. Songs with seen, we've seen Summers, but not Forza. ...as he have ever released. To make matters worse, after one of their leaked collabs was remixed with a new beat and went viral on TikTok, much to the dismay of Forza, the song would officially drop. However, there are two sides to every story. And despite Forza declining to do an interview with me, something he did mention, though, in this email, along with Uzi his recent Rolling Loud performance leads us to believe that this story may actually have a happy ending. So, all right, all right. Make sure to stick around for the end. Got a, a GoPuff delivery service, guys. I tried to sign that up, sign up for that back in the day. All right, all right, all right. Bro, I'm about to cry, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Snap, he's reacting. Just like me, we're re reactors, man, reactors, let's go. The chance to work with the hottest artist in your city is the dream of any upcoming producer. However, facts, bro, facts. Or it was extra special for this. Never been a producer, though. One. Forza and Lil Uzi Vert have known each other since they were little kids. They played youth football together and remained pretty close throughout high school in Philly. Forza, bro. That's an interesting name, to say the least. Forza was also good friends with the founders of the producer group. Like Forza, the video games, right, guys? Group working on dying, which at the time was just Filthy and his younger brother, Oogie Man. Wake up, Filthy. Oogie oh, Man, The three would skateboard together almost every day in middle school since Forza lived near- I actually used to skateboard as well. Nearby. So I would, like, start skating and shit, you know? Gosh, man, so much stuff is on Adam 22, bro. He's documented so much stuff. Oh, you know, we just start talking and everything. Like, we've just been cool for, since then, like, sixth grade and shit, like. Inspired by the underground scene, Filthy was the first one to try his hand at producing. Ooh, another backlit, uh... Laptop, guys? Not bad, not bad. Before then, passing his knowledge down to his brother. His brother, Oogie Man, also attended Northeast High School alongside Forza, Uzi, and Lucy Man and Brandon Finessen, two more current members of the group. Back in 2012, it was some high school kids playing around on Fruity Loops, but after grinding for years and adding a few new members, today, Working on Dying features some of the hottest producers out. I'm sure you- Years of grinding? Oh, snap. You've heard at least one song with their iconic tag. I'm working on dying. Bro, Drake of all things, Lil Yachty? Oh, snap. The collective had Juice World as well? Okay, okay. Formed a very close working relationship with Uzi. Oh, it's about his producer. I thought it's about how Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert himself sold his career, bro. Through the years, from landing placements on his debut mixtape to then having their hands on some of Uzi's biggest hits in his career. This Look at those, man. I know about- I mo know most of those songs, guys. This trust that the group had earned is what makes Forza's actions in 2019 even more unfortunate. Forza himself had been landing placements with artists such as Maddox, Blade, and Lucky, as well as unreleased tracks. Snap, so he actually live-streamed it as well, man. Not, 
That's pretty cool. It's hard. I didn't, you know, didn't know there's a producers like that that live stream. With Playboy Cardi, Juice World, and of course, his good friend Lil Uzi Vert. These still unreleased Uzi songs include, of course, Watch This and 1600 to name a few. It's very likely these tracks were going to appear on Uzi's long-awaited second studio album, Eternal A Take, giving Forza the big break he'd been waiting for his whole life. With an estimated 100 plus songs recorded with Uzi during the making of the project, Dang, bro, that's like five albums. It was no surprise to see working on dying members all over the f so many albums, guys. Final track list. However, Forza was nowhere to be found. But what? that also wasn't surprising given what went down just three months prior. November 29th, 2019. At the time, 23-year-old Forza was in serious need of some money. To put it simply, he was broke. As a result, Forza would then decide to take the easiest bag possible and sell unreleased Uzi songs he had stored on. Oh no, it's a fallout, bro. No oh, man, he's betraying Uzi right here, guys. On his computer. Going behind your artist's back, and in this case, your homie's back, and selling songs to leakers is a guaranteed way to lose your trust. And we know from the past that Uzi is definitely not a fan of leakers, as he's not only stated that leaks are often the reason for delays in his rollouts, but then he also pulled up on one and embarrassed him in this viral video. Like I should be slapping shit out your frail. Guys, I've actually seen this, man. Stand up. Skin ass, ass, ass sit down. <laughs> I bet he's like holding back his excitement here because Uzi pulled up, right, guys? What the f is wrong with you? But after a fan page would DM Uzi the screenshot of Forza trying to sell his songs, he would immediately call him out on Twitter. Forza lucky I ain't F him up like I ain't know he was stealing and selling music. We should have stomped you out, but just kicked you out your sweet pitch sleep outside. Dang, they kicked him out the house, bro. Uzi, Uzi savage. If you don't know, this is who was leaking and selling. I know you call this sh Uzi had every right to be pissed off. It was originally rumored that Forza had leaked around 10 unreleased Lil Uzi songs. However, as we'll see in a second, Forza would later claim this to not be true. But regardless, it was all a very bad look for him and the entire Working on Dying collective. They were forced to take action. Working on Dying's relationship with Uzi is still strongly intact. We have taken the necessary steps to resolve the issue surrounding the security of his art. As I don't know who Working on Dying is. Let me know if you know who they are, guys. That necessary step was sadly removing Forza from the group, ending both their working rela no. relationship as well as long friendship. Um, of course, he leaked the songs, bro. You know, I just want to get in front of this to say that, like, working on dying as a collective isn't involved in this shit. It was one person who was a part of our collective that decided to do some dumb shit and there are consequences to that. But according to Forza, the situation had been blown way out of proportion. First, he would take to Instagram and share his side of the story. Sam, that's a long story, bro. When you dedicate three so much, so much going on on Instagram. I never really use Instagram that much, guys. Years to work. It's just either Twitter, YouTube, TikTok now for me, guys. I am really going Instagram. Working with one artist while they continue to make but I will start posting on Instagram more. Millions and you when I get, uh, hopefully my next YouTube page hit. I might not get it, but guys, because we, we got two strikes, bro. We got two strikes. I hope, I'm praying they remove it, man. Don't make a single penny, then come talk to me. It's not like I was being paid and was just being greedy. Couldn't even pay for rent. Dudes wasn't even gonna help me buy a new laptop when mine broke. I have a family and bills. Dude, we need a, it sucks when we don't have a new laptop, you know what I mean? I saved up for months for this one, guys. You people as sheep. Unfortunately though, that's how the music industry works. Producers typically don't get paid for their beats until the artists and labels officially release the songs. But some fans argue that Uzi was in the wrong for recording over Forza's beats than just stashing them. And I guess considering how rich Uzi is, he could have easily slid his homie a little cash. What's good, bro? Can you pay for my college tuition? How much is your college tuition? 90 grand, I go to Temple, bro. 90 grand? Dude, that'd be so awesome, man. I could pay for that. Forza would also claim that- Dude. Yeah, ask him to buy me a house. <laughs> he didn't actually leak all the Uzi songs himself. Only sold Nicki Minaj and Tylan somebody hacked for the rest. I was hurt when Fake From The Jump released, Forza explained. Why would I leak of course in 1600? They actually had potential to be hit songs. Now it's- They still are, bro. It's only the underground, like- 
community that cares about leaked songs to actually get them, bro. If anything, it just releases them himself, bro. The, the song's already made, bro. It's already Uzi that's getting the clout, you know? It's definitely possible that Forza is telling the truth about getting and his team hacked. I already did a whole video on that crazy business too. And we have re-reacted to that as well. If you want to check it out. But regardless of whether or not the songs Forza sold were two throwaways or if they were indeed intended for the album, he still admitted to selling Uzi's music without his permission, which is not cool. Dis Bro, look at all those phones in the air. By just tweeting about how much he himself hates leaks, Forza could have worked another job to make some money and get by. Because again, if he would have waited a few more months, he would have had at least one place. Dang, bro, I never had a job, so it's hard for me to get a job. Maybe Forza was in the same, um, situation, guys. And on Eternal, a take. But it was also a very tough situation, and we don't know the full details. After tweeting this concerning self-harm tweet following the fallout, it was later reported that Forza had joined the Marines in 2021. Whoa, okay. Which seemed to get a laugh out of Uzi. This was really looking like the last we'd ever hear about Forza. What Forza did, but please God drop watch this, it's been almost three years sad face. Is that a Forza beat? If it is, um, no. To make matters worse in February. Yeah, he's not he's not a fan of the Forza beats right now. February of this year, we would finally see one of Forza and Uzi's long-awaited songs officially drop. Let's go, let's go. However, Forza's beat had been replaced. Oh. Least. Their track titled Watch This was initially previewed on Instagram back in 2019 and was expected to be on Eternal A Take. But after the song and even music video leaked in its entirety, maybe by Forza himself or as he claimed- Again, bro? Everything's getting leaked by Uzi, man. ...by a hacker, producer Arizona Tears would remix the track with a new plug and b type of beat. This remix quickly went viral on TikTok and led to Atlanta Records then releasing the song on all streaming platforms, going on to chart in many countries. Now it was Forza's turn to be pissed. This shit effing sucks, I hate y'all TikTok people. The effing disrespect. This TikTok remix of a Uzi... Leak is addicting, I understand. It's hard to not- If it's going viral on TikTok, it's go- It's gonna be going viral for a while, maybe. Feel bad for Forza here, but I guess at the same time, he did bring it upon himself. Miss my brothers, man, hate how everything turned out. I give up on producing, gonna finish my masters and disappear. However, right when all hope seemed lost and Forza was ready to call it quits, less than a month after this tweet, Lil Uzi Vert would headline Rolling Loud Cali back in March. And one song he played instantly brought Forza and as well as a lot of us fans to tears. Okay then. Alright, alright, alright. Distorted for copyright. Bros on Twitch. Look at his hair man, that's wild. He got the spiky hair. Like a rock star. Wow, they're not even throwing their phones. That's good. That's good. Don't don't be doing that, right, guys? What? No, he didn't. Yo, chat. What the? F no, he didn't. Yo, chat. I'm about to cry, bro. I'm about to cry, bro. I'm about to cry. I can't tell if it's his beat, beat or not. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, guys. Right, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Hey. Uzi performed his unreleased song, Of Course, live on stage. A fan favorite grail produced by Forza back in the Eternal Take era. Many fans take this as a sign that the two have made amends. Yay, that's good, that's good. And that Uzi might even include Of Course on his upcoming Pink Tape album. When I reached out to Forza to see about hearing directly from him, he declined. Which is totally respectable. But it was his reasoning that I found interesting. I'm not exactly sure how cool they are, but after hearing this and after- yeah, I thought he was gonna like diss Uzi again, but nah. They're cool now. After seeing Uzi perform, of course, I think the two are at least on better terms now. These past few months, Forza has been going live while making beats on his Twitch channel, Planet Forza. And with oh, that's pretty chill. She also mentioned this good news during a recent stream. I've been talking to A&R, so I'm gonna send it with definitely with a pack that I'm working on right now for sure, so. Forza is it's a big house. also get, not the only in. producer to ever be accused of selling unreleased songs. From big names like Jetson Made be being blamed for Cardi leaks, to even producers like Murda Beats who admitted to selling songs for some easy cash. Because I used to leak the Migos music. Did you really? On purpose? 
Yeah. And bro, <laughs> they'll be been, leaking. If they weren't going to hey. use the song. Guys, for the one, oh, Forza commented, for the ones who say you should have just sold beats to a small artist or type beats, I was not told to not sell beats by my management. I didn't lack entrepreneurship. I was just told it would degrade the value of my beats. That's it. Better to remain exclusive. Y'all truly think. I didn't try to make money other ways before. Let's see this channel, guys. Before making that horrible decision, I was told not to get a job. Just wait till the album start. drops. It's easy to st type out stuff, but until you're the one put in this situation, you'll never be able to tell what you actually do until you're in that position. Man, I feel so bad for him. He was always so close yet so far from Uzi. I don't blame him for anything he's done. I just shed a tear. Not getting paid for your work sucks. So tell me about it. Don't starve your old dogs, and, and I expect them to bite when they're hungry. It's cold AF. But I feel low-key low key feel for this dude. Boys are crying when he heard his stuff is so humbling. Facts. I know the feeling when you finally bear fruit from the tree you planted. Never give up. Alright, we will. We will not give up, bro. We're gonna still post these videos. These reactions. But yeah, guys. Oh, uh, man. It, it, it made me happy to see him, uh, you know. Be happier there when you listen to Uzi on stage like that. But yeah, guys, that because you know, maybe we could make it as well, man. But yeah, guys, that will be the video. Peace out, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next one. Check out 1111 in the description later.